put down. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Oh, it's going to recap the whole season. <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Okay, Jax, I saw that you were streaming. No. Hope, come by later. I'll be going for quite a while Lily's tonight. Sister. Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Oh, is it recapping all know. my big decisions? Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. <laughs> You're dancing oh, in your God, bed. Big B. Don't fall. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Oh, no intro sequence for me this time. Oh, you're not seeing him. <laughs> okay. I was just saying. Oh god, there's a breeze, a cold breeze coming through my window. It feels so good. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, her carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Well... Gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. I know, right, Brad? What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Jesus. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? 
I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. You're right that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion, and I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. Yeah, we talked and about I hope that. You believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders Last that have night. gotten such attention as of late. I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. Perhaps you've become somewhat unscrewed. It was Mary. <laughs> no, Sheriff. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Mm. And I have complete respect for you and your job. I really do, but I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. So was it the Tweedles? You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I'm going to deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? Yep. He told us the whole fable. The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but... In the interest of preserving our alliance. If you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just... Sit. Down. Now. Mm. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, yes. the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits. And I think you've far exceeded yours. Oh, he's gonna but let you me have him. someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this. And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? Mm. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? I like Georgie's you accent. You can have Georgie. Is that weird? Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one. Who who the shit do you think you fuckers are out the fuck out of I here? I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. A whore I'll at the roll bottom over of the lake? I'll lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I'm running out of patience, crooked man. I don't have time to fuck around here. This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the Thanks. truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you could just decide? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you, all fixed up. 
Oh, shit. say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Ooh. Oh my lord. Oh god. This way. Golden Fi. Okay, Jack. Oh, shit. I know. I know. Right, I know. Cause then it wouldn't be as interesting, duh. Shit. Fuck, what was that? Shit. Are you sure? Do it! He's not moving. Keep going! Me? Come on, we can't stay here. 
Hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Can you stand up? <clears throat> it's okay. Take your time. What oh, Jack yeah. said. Oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? How did it get this? Oh, 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 fuck. <sighs> well, it won't be your fault. Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> <laughs> no occasion. Oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. I had to say goodbyes first. I, Please, Sheriff. I know he killed them, but... Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... mean- You ah! fucking- You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <clears throat> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says, or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him, and I'd do it again. He did it to save his Because it's not own my life. fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them, and then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and kill me then, but it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? No. George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? Wait. How is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But she but you dies. Know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed mm. to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. 
Then the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can. Don't about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? Hey, Wolf my blood. life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really. Just shut up. Vivian, I'm not gonna kill you. I know that. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here, but it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily, to all of them. Vivian, wait. He's an I... Every day wait. I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa, and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! Uh, uh, Goodbye, Vivian, Georgie. no! Holy shit. Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Just... Jesus. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... Oh, well, they'll die together. Oh. oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure Samson. you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Oh my god, you guys. Good. Old foundry. I like how it said. Right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. I like how it said Georgie will remember that, but now. he's gonna die. So he won't remember what that. What do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> All right, Georgie. Yeah, but it wasn't like it's different if your vital organs get super fucked I think that you can't recover whatever he asked for it that's what he wanted Yeah, I think that's... <laughs> Slap. I think that's what they're saying, Brad, yeah. Oh, I can look in the car. Still warm. He's here, alright. 
Oh yeah, that's right too. I forgot about that. Of course. Like I said, I think anyway, if they, if the internal, like, so if this is where they've been sending these. parts of them get really messed up, they can't recover. Plus, it's like the werewolf thing that, like, the only thing that can kill him is a silver bullet Baby or wolf. a silver knife wound to the heart or whatever. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. They Ooh, used to one of those you. wheels. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. But they but they've been using silver bullets on him. I'm not saying that's exactly how it is. I'm just saying that's what they lead you to believe. Silver. The big bad wolf. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking Hi, whatever Leon. breeze drifted through town? How are you? Oh, come on! Is that the best you can do? Oh, shit. I was looking at chat. Too cool for Bigby. first. Shit. 
She's fucking creepy as shit. Jesus Christ. That's what I was thinking too. Poor Big B. I know, right, Slaff? I'm not fucking around anymore, Crooked Man. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six... 
I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself. Because he didn't want to, to Eric. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. Oh yeah, sure Snow. That's right. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot mm. you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. Thinking of the what? What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I'm only doing it to appease Snow. She'd lose her shit if I busted him up, busted him up before bringing him in. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. Yeah, yeah. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could you? What do you have to say for yourself? Where the yourself? fuck do you get Those off? You think you have the right and to just do this Faith? to people? You're a fucking crook! This. You should be fucking ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As I Faith already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? 
It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? <laughs> dead? So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change for this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Fine. Go right ahead. Wait, that's not how this works. After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself. <laughs> but <laughs> only then. If you insist. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And resisting arrest. Oh, yes. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're in- Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where realm. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it then! we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What right, the right. This is about talk? justice. Oh my god. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. I know, right, Eric? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Second. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes. I know, right, Samson? Too. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. <laughs> they are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted 
that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. I like how he's when like at the head of everything. You, left you poor and helpless. But he did it in a way where corners. nothing is I his was there to fault. Look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? Yeah. You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? They burned my tree to ashes. Yeah, because, what? like I said in the last episode... Down? You see? There's more to this than they're saying, okay? It was necessary to keep this town safe. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. What choice did I have? It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. Just... Put him in the well already, Jesus. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your I know, hope right? for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Good, I'm glad you all see it my way. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. I know, right, Braddock? I'm getting to it. The doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murders. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. Shut up, beauty. I just Of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? This fucker. Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He I was didn't... beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, 
You won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for this is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know. The laws apply when we need them. That's I not need a true. certain level of privilege should be afforded to speak. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Oh, God. Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Excuse me, I... dear. <sighs> I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. Hey. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm oh, sorry, I'm... Shit. I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take oh, the word of us. At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it. Right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is some this shit. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. Whatever. What? You take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you enough. I don't know more sir. if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been I don't get so so we get rid of him. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What Please about do, him? Please do, He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. That's what Snow's Snow. trying to do. Just... 
Do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Everyone, I'm not this way. No, don't glitch out now. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. Fuck, I don't know what to do now. You're going to miss me. No, I won't. <laughs> It's the last one. Now I don't have to worry about him getting out or doing anything fucking crazy. For Lily. And Faith. Yes. And we can start Another over from here. Another one of us to erase from the books. <laughs> Rip his head off? No. I tried to make Bigby the good guy, except for when I needed to go wolf mode. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. His hat. Oh my god, Samson. Probably. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Oh my god, fuzzy. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! We forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Uh, ah, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Aww. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. 
Aww. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure <laughs> she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, no. I have not. Do we have to go? They can't afford it. Here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Mundy seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. No. So you wouldn't know, would you? I what thought was it that? was gonna give me the option to give him money, but it Goodbye, didn't. Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. Yeah. Must have run off. Bull shit. Saying goodbye. Why is she still wearing the ribbon? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if... Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. Oh, fuck. Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. Yeah, Georgie told but me then that. Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. She you killed them? They kept us quiet in that place. Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Georgie didn't do mercy. You know that. He could have been reasoned with. I was counting on that. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. And then but he then... didn't. Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? She fucking got them killed. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah, 
I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. Well, so you. She was just trying to tell me. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just. <laughs> oh my not god, you guys. For, for anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just. I go out there and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. Someone has to be the bad the guy, though. Around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been yeah. doing this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Aww. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Oh, God. I want the next episode now. 68.6% .6 of players killed Georgie. Put him out of his misery. 89.6% of players brought the, cookie, the crooked man back alive. I wonder what happens if you kill him. 38.6% of players threw him down the witching well. 98.5% of players accepted TJ's gift for snow. 54.8% of players said, I hope, I hope I've done some good here. And then at the end, for the last choice, I chose to go after her. Uh, I lied to Beast. I fought Bluebeard. I offered protection for the Butcher. Who rejected TJ? Assholes. The Crooked Man died. Faith and Georgie died. That definitely wasn't what I expected. <laughs> oh, Ryan. Thank you for following. It was all Tiny Tim. Did you see him standing outside the door of the office? The guy who rejected TJ is an asshole? Yeah. You think Snow is the mastermind? Uh, 
I'm very curious about what's going on with Ariel. Unless she's really... I don't know, because they were alluding there at the end to something about her and Faith. TJ is cute, I agree. I feel sad about sending to them sending them to the farm, but you know. I only picked that option because I thought it was gonna let me give them money. Snow being the mastermind would be a mindfuck. Could you imagine if, like, Crane coerced her somehow or something? Like, that would be ridiculous. Oh my goodness, you guys. Graphic novel. Never say a word the whole time. Yeah, that would be some shit. What? Sure, I can do that. Uh, extras. Book of Fables. We'll go through this. Ooh, there's some I didn't get. There's a lot. Holy crap. Do you want me to read all of them? I know, there's so much. It won't let me scroll. Oh, there we go. Not all of them. I'll just flip through them. When they... I saw Daya. You're welcome. Yeah, I know about that, Eric. Um, but at the beginning, um, Colin said he, he, Colin kept escaping from the farm. Like, he'd been there and kept escaping to come back to Wolf's apartment. So I don't think that they kill them. You know what I mean? So, it does have Faith listed here as the donkey skin girl. Read Bluebeards? Did I pass it? Oh no. Beauty. Beast. I'll flip through them all just to get through them. Mr. Toad. Colin. If you, if you want to read them all, you can go back through the VOD and read them. Crane. Buffkin. About Fable Town. The farm. Wait. The farm is a home to fables who cannot pass as humans. Uh, far away. Resent confinement. It's. Hmm. Oh, see? They can leave the farm if they can buy glamour. But if they can't afford it, they leave. Mondays are just regular people. The glamour is the spell. 
Prince Lawrence. Oh yeah, that's the guy that killed himself. Faith's husband. The Tweedle Brothers. Holly. I like that it has like animated pictures of all of them. Grendel. Bluebeard. Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions and he often uses his this influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, he claims his days of decapitating his brides are over, but even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down Crooked Lane. So, he works for Snow now. That's not great. Oh, you didn't? They referred to him as Grendel before. Bluebeard's mercy. After a long line of marriages resulting in mysterious disappearances, Bluebeard's last wife in the homelands was naturally suspicious of him. One day he departed on business, leaving her alone in his estate. He gave her free reign of all the rooms, but made her promise not to open the closet on the ground floor. She defied him, of course, and discovered the location of his missing wives. When Bluebeard returned, he knew that he must kill her before she revealed his murderous secret. She persuaded him to allow her a moment to pray, which he reluc reluctantly granted. This small mercy gave her brothers time to arrive and rescue her, and Bluebeard's crimes were exposed. Thirteenth floor. The witching well. Jack. Lily. The Troll Cross. Hmm. Georgie Porgie Puddin' Pie. <laughs> Poor hands. Snows? I passed Snows already. Nerissa. I think it's funny that they, like, they named Beauty, Beauty, and Snow, Snow, and Beast, Beast, but they didn't name Ariel, Ariel. Mm. It hurts her to walk. That's crazy. Dr. Swineheart. Oh, yeah. They didn't really say much about this. I think it's kind of weird that they have a thing, even though it was just a statue in Crane's apartment. As a weird. The Trip Trap. This is kind of cool. For people who, like, super like the story and stuff, to go through and... Yeah, but wouldn't that be an issue with Snow and Beauty and Beast, too? Like, if that were... Hi, Lou. I don't know, maybe. Silver Bullets. He was afraid of the Headless Horseman? Yeah, they call her Snow White, yeah. Bluebeard's money. One might think Bluebeard donates funds to the Fabletown government for nefarious purposes, seeking special favors, or to have a louder voice in government proceedings, but what he really wants is stability and strength. Because as far as Bluebeard is concerned, Fabletown exists to insulate him from the Mundy world as much as his money can be soared can be a sword, it also serves as a shield. Me either. The Crooked Lair. 
Catherine Wheels, The Crooked Man. Wow, he killed his wife and kid. Kids. She didn't have a name, so they must have just... Life on the farm. A prison. Hmm. Oh yeah, see this is the the thing that uh Adam linked yesterday. I it's interesting that that's the only one that they encountered that with though. Winter Wolf Bigby was the runt. Eight foot tall. She had to be a personal hitman. Mostly because she finds it fun. He doesn't have to get glamour. Huh. Well, yeah. I just mean... You wanted me to read Snows? Who asked for Snows? Snow White may seem cold, but this stems from her life of mistreatment. <laughs> Snow White may seem cold. Anyway. Life of mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands. After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. It wasn't long before Snow discovered Charming cheated on her with her estranged sister, Rose Red, and she divorced him. After the exodus, Snow forced her attention on setting up a safe haven for fables in the New World. She now serves as assistant to the deputy mayor of Fable Town. <laughs> Bread. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a break, and I wonder what are the ones I didn't, those must be for, uh, things I didn't choose, like if I chose to go somewhere else first, you know what I mean?